Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sinister. I want to come talk to a lot of y'all out there that's looking to get in the truck in. Um, big shout out to my boy, Big Mike. He told me to do this video, so I'm going to do this video right here. Um, basically, let me let me talk to y'all for y'all back home that want to get in the truck in and want to know the ups and downs about trucking. Now, I know a lot of y'all watch my videos and y'all see me and I'm always talking about ruthless grinding, you know what I mean? Being on your grind. Ripping the, you know, we ride around, we get in it, we hustle hard, and we paper chase. Well, to get the money, you're gonna have to run hard. Some of y'all gonna come in this game, and y'all not gonna make that money like that when you first come in the game. Some of y'all gonna end up going to a company that don't pay that good. Some of y'all gonna come in the game, y'all gonna have to go to those companies that is at the bottom. You gotta be a bottom feeder before you can even get into this game and get the money that you really want as a truck driver. So, coming into this game, you gotta know that it's gonna take hard work and dedication. It's not gonna come easy. Some of us do have the luxury of coming in this game and having it easy, but a lot of us don't. You might not have it easy. You're gonna miss birthdays. You can, you're gonna miss birthdays, you're gonna miss Christmas, you can miss Thanksgiving. You're gonna, you're gonna have to give up going out on the weekend. You're gonna have to miss, you know, being home with your lady, being home with your wife, missing your kids. When you decide you wanna do this, when you decide you wanna do this, this takes great sacrifice. It takes a lot of dedication and hard work to accomplish this. Yes, I do make it look easy, but there's days when you riding and you going down the highway and it ain't nothing to see but straight flat land. It'd be late and then, you know, it could be early hours in the morning, people still sleep, you ain't got nobody to talk to, you ain't got no cell phone signal. And you just driving and it's just you, your music, and you might just be one of the, it'd be days where you could just be driving and you in the funk. No matter what type of music you listen to, or who you speak to, you're just in that funk, you're in that rut. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Being at a truck stop and eating dinner by yourself. Being at a truck stop and having breakfast by yourself. When you shut down, at the end of the day, you get in your bed, you by yourself. Now some of y'all have the luxury where once you get on your own and you running solo, you can put your girl in the truck with you and bring her out here with you and let, and, and, and let her ride with you. And some of us, we can't. Some of us is gonna come out here with, some of y'all gonna come out here with relationship problems back home. Before you get out here to try to do trucking, make sure things back home is good. Make sure your bills is taken care of just in case if you do get with a trainer and that trainer ain't showing you what you really need to know, you gotta sit at a hotel, wait for the next trainer, even though the company's still gonna pay you while you wait for the next trainer. It's not easy, y'all. And I know, you know, in Team RG, we like, yo, we ride around, we getting it. A lot of us worked hard to get to the level we at. When I came into this industry and I went through Roadmasters, I had, child, I had to have child support money on stash to cover every week while I was in truck school and the weeks after I got out of truck school and I was on my way to a company until I got through orientation and then they gave me that first paid training check. Paid training money ain't the greatest out here. Some of y'all gonna get that bottom end. Like I said, some of y'all gonna be bottom feeders. When I went to Warner, I was getting, what was it, $400 a week doing training. After that, I got on my own. I started seeing, I went from $329 a week to $650 a week. To me, that was a come up. After taxes and after child support. I was able to maintain the rent. When you come out here and you wanna do this, this game is dangerous. This game, take your, this game can take your life with just a simple 
lean over in your seat to reach for something. That's how easy this vehicle can take your life or you can take somebody's life. You wanna come out here? I'm doing reefer. So on the reefer side, you sit at shippers. I sat at shippers where I sat for 12 hours. I spent nights at shippers. It's days when you get a beat up trailer and you gotta sit on it because the shop is closed. So now you lost a day of driving. You might have a truck where you always in the shop. And you gotta wait to find out what's going on with your truck. Freight, freight slows down. You gotta prepare yourself for the end of the year when freight slow down. Right now it's February. Like I say to people on the phone when I talk to them, I said the reason I do reefer is because that's all year round. Drive van does move, but it's not as it's not moving as much as refrigerated because at the end of the day you still gotta put food in the refrigerator. So think about it like this. Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, after Christmas sales, New Year's sales. What's going on doing all of this? All right, Thanksgiving. You got to buy food for the family because the family coming over for Thanksgiving. Then, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, you might have a kid or two who birthdays in between those weeks before Christmas. Then, you, gotta, you got Christmas. You got to buy the kids Christmas toys. You got to buy, you, you know, your spouse something for Christmas. You want to buy yourself something for Christmas. Your spouse got to buy you something for Christmas. Then you got after Christmas sales. And think after Christmas, things go on sale because everybody done spent their money doing Thanksgiving. I did miss Black Friday. Black Friday, everybody running and lining up in front of Target or Walmart for TVs, computers, laptops, sneakers, clothes, jewelry. I think it's on sale. And all this time between December, between November to the end of December, everybody's doing this or this, swiping the credit card. So after the new years come in and you celebrate for new years, you might get a few bottles, you might throw a new year's party. Boom, what happens to freight? Why? Because everybody's recovering from November, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, after after Christmas sales, which is New Year sales. When's the next time money really start coming back in? Tax time. Right around tax time when April start coming around, at the end of March, starting to leave at the starting to be towards the end of March is when freight start picking up. That's when freight starts picking up. So, don't get it mistaken, because I know a lot of people say I, I don't never speak about the real the realities of trucking. You got to be out here. You got to handle this 80,000 80, pound vehicle through the rain, through the snow. You might have to chain up just to get out of an area to get to an area to be able to shut down. Some of y'all gonna be out here, y'all driving and y'all driving and y'all driving and you still can't keep up with your bills. And frustrated. You ain't getting the miles that you thought you can get. You ain't getting the money you thought you was gonna get. Don't come in this game and think you're gonna make good money off the rip. Because you're gonna set yourself up for a big disappointment. Yes. Me and other Team RG members set it up like that. And I seen the Red Rider going by on the highway. So don't come out here and be like, oh, I'm going in the truck and I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to make all this money. And don't let the truck schools tell you, oh, you're going to make 40000 your first year. Because when I was at Warner, well, I ain't stay at Warner for a whole four years. So I couldn't tell you if I was on course for 40000 for 40, a year. This game is not to just come in and be like, yo, I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to make all this money. I'm going to be good. I can do this. I can do that. I can ball out. 
Don't start going to buy things before you get out here as far as like materialistic things because you think you're going to come out here and you're going to get a thousand dollar check every week. Nah. Nah. Nope. Some of y'all going to see $600 check, $700 check, depending on what company you go to and how hard you run. Some people come out here, they don't want to come out west because they don't want to deal with the mountains. They don't want to come out west because they don't want to chain up. You got to understand, do you want to do OTR? What do OTR consist of? How long do you plan on staying out? Understanding that you got to drive this 10 hours out the day. You got 11 hours to drive, but you got to drive this 10 hours, 9 hours. Eight hours a day, depending on that particular load. It, it's it's not it's not that easy, you know. Being away from home, I didn't make it home for a Thanksgiving one time. Being here at night, so it's not easy, y'all. And every job has its pros and cons. And you got to understand what the pros and cons. When you're pros and cons, you got to put it on paper. And you got to put the line down the middle and say, okay, if I'm at this company, if you at this company and you put your pros and cons down, what do you like about night? What do you, do, what, what do you like about night? What you don't like about night? What you don't like about being at Swift? What you don't like about being at Prime. What you don't like about being at Stevens, Snyder, Warner, Western Express, U.S. Express. What is it that you don't like? <laughs> doing, doing trucking, you don't got a regular 9 to 5 where you wake up, you, you wake up at 6 in the morning, you drive from 8 to 5. Nope. Sometimes you're going to have to drive overnight. And if you ain't an overnight person, you might have to. So don't think you're never going to have to do an overnight. Oh, I'm just going to run during the day. I'm going to shut down early. No, because you can end up running late. So this is not an easy game. <laughs> it takes a lot of hard work, dedication. It takes tremendous amounts of dedication yes us youtubers and, and let me touch base for you youtubers all you new truckers coming in the industry i'm still a rookie regardless i'm going on three years in this industry i'm still a rookie i'm still learning i'm still growing as a driver i'm still growing as a man when you out here on this road you ain't got nothing but time to think about the things in your life. You come out here and drive, come out here and drive, but have a purpose to it. Have a list of goals, what it is that you're trying to accomplish in the next five years. Do you want a house? But understand, to get out of debt, it takes a game plan. It takes a lot of hard work and running. You got to sit, you got to stop, you got to drive, you got to rest areas. You're going to sleep in rest areas. You might be on the road. Your spouse call you. Y'all get in an argument. You know you can have an accident because of that. Because once you get off the phone down the road, your mind's so distracted. Your mind's so frustrated with the, from the argument. You're not even paying attention on what's going on. You can shift lanes and, 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 not, and, and run over somebody's car. You can take an off ramp too fast and roll over. It ain't always peaches and cream out here. You got rude people out here. You got people, you got other truckers that are cut in front of you. You got four wheelers that are jump in front of you and don't care about their life. Then, for all of you dudes that's new, that's watching us, that's sitting home like, yo, when I get out there, I'm gonna do YouTube. Let me tell y'all what you're gonna get. As y'all can see, I do YouTube. I got every I got people that come at me. I got people that claim this. I got people that claim that. 
YouTube ain't easy neither. Some people feel you should do things this way. Some people feel I should do things that way. So if you're looking to do YouTube and you new in this industry, you're going to get people that's going to come at you and I'm going to let you know, they're going to come at your head. You see that? You see it? They come at my head, but you know what? It don't fade me. It don't fade me. You got to start having thick skin because you're going to get people that come and leave negative comments under your video. I had many people that follow people who done said something about me on YouTube. They come to my page, call me a nigga. That's fine. It don't bother me. I got people that said, oh, you bringing all your homies out of the hood that ain't got no skill to drive a truck. But you know what? That's just what it is. Not everybody is going to like what I do. Everybody's not going to like what you do. And then if you hanging out and you with your friends, when you decide, yo, you know what? I want a better life for myself. And you want to get out of the streets. You want to get out of coming in the house at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. You want to get out of being in the club and you finally want a career. And, and you want to do this. You got to get your mind right. You got because this game will eat you up. This game will eat you up. You can run a thousand mile trip and you be like, you look at your church be like, oh, what is this? You got to understand the, the terminologies out here. You got to understand what deadhead pay is. You got to know what loaded miles are. What's your, what's your empty miles you getting paid? What's your loaded miles you getting paid? What about detention? What about layover? What about breakdown? Is, it force, is your company a force dispatch company? Do you get a fuel bonus? How many times out the year do you get a raise? This is what you need to know coming out here. And sometimes some of y'all want the money and y'all don't realize it takes hard work and dedication. That's why I say it. Hard work plus dedication equals success. You don't know when the day that God's going to say, here's your success. People look at me like, oh, well, sin, you got this, you got that. I've been working towards this for several years, way before I got in the trucking. I've been praying for this for several years before I got it. That's what I've been doing. So... You know, your baby, you, you come out here, you do trucking, your baby small, you be out here a month at a time. You might have to be out two months at a time, three months at a time, depending on your circle, depending on your situation and what your game plan is with your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. And y'all got the same game plan. Let me turn the camera around over here so y'all can see that. So just understand, this is not easy. It's not easy. You get lonely. Some of y'all gonna come out here, you're not gonna have the TV in the truck. You're not gonna have the XM radio. You're not gonna have all the fancy stuff that you see in my video or chasing Andrew Jackson's video. No, some of us don't have the luxury of living at home with our moms or our parents. Some of us is sleeping on our homeboy's couch. We sleeping at our girlfriend's house. Some of us is coming from public assistance. Some of y'all coming out here, y'all got baby mama drama going back, going on back home. This game is not easy. I put in tons and tons of hours to get my craft perfected and I'm still perfecting my craft I've still become I'm still working on being better I'm not perfect I make my mistakes and I'm man enough to admit that 